Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and you know what we're going to do today? We're going to take this uh, TrueNAS Mini that we've been working on and we're going to install TrueNAS Scale on it. So right now it has TrueNAS Core on it. We're going to convert this guy over uh, to TrueNAS Scale. So uh, let's get it going. Here we go. All right. So here I've got it booted up a USB flash drive on this guy. And uh, we're going to take and we're going to install TrueNAS scale. So I'm going to choose that ISO and boot off of it. And go ahead and go and do that. And so you see, here it is, TrueNAS scale install. So right now it should be booting up into that. And uh, here we go. That's coming. All right, here we go. All right, so now we're in there. So we're going to hit number one. We're going to go ahead and select that. NVMe drive in there is what we're going to take and install this on. So as you can see, there's uh, four two terabyte drives in there, which are already in ZFS from the TrueNAS core. And so we're going to go ahead and select that. And now you can do a fresh install or an upgrade install. So let's go ahead and do an upgrade install. All right, so let's just go install a new boot environment. See what happens. Proceed with upgrade, yes. All right, so with any luck, this is the ISO version of the upgrading TrueNAS Core to TrueNAS Scale, and we'll see if this uh, works out well. And we'll just uh, watch this just for a few minutes and boom. Okay, here we go, now it's done. We're gonna go ahead and click okay here. And we need to remove the boot drive and all right, so there we're going there. And let's just go ahead and reboot this system. Okay, here we are. We're back in now. We have this same one with the TrueNAS scale installed. And as you can see, it recognizes enclosure. We'll go ahead and click on the enclosure. You'll see that these top four drives have have uh, the hard drives in it. And uh, so all that, it still recognizes just like in core. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, if you want to go to your storage pool, you can go over here and look at the pool. And there are the drives that I have in RAID Z in there. And uh, everything seems to be back up and running. Just it sees the whole 32 gigs of RAM and all that good stuff. So let's just go ahead and if you followed on the last time, the last time I did this, I had some troubles with the uh, app. So this is a different machine. Uh, it's IX Systems hardware. And so we're going to hit apps. We're going to choose a pool, choose a tank, and go ahead and hit the Kubernetes on there and see if everything uh, works. Okay. So now that's there. And in theory, um, should be able to view the catalog and here is everything. Everything's working so far. Installed apps, managed catalogs, managed Docker images. Um, oh, there's some Docker images that are installed by default. So now you're back here, up and running and everything seems to be totally fine. So go back over here to the apps. Yep, yep. Images, dates available. So, all that looks like the uh, Rancher is what it's using under the hood there. So, that's a bunch of stuff on there, and that's pretty cool. Got an issue. Now, because this pull is from Core to Scale, we're going to go ahead and, and hit this upgrade. Uh, and we're going to do that. Boom, successfully upgraded. So that was one of the things um, that I knew would change. And you'll see that there's IX applications down here in this too. So there you have it. That is the basics of setting up TrueNet scale. Uh, like I said, we just did a conversion. Um, so I didn't have to recreate the, the, the pool and all that good stuff. So. Thanks for joining me. If you got something out of this, uh, this will 
we'll continue on in our TrueNAS scale video series. Uh, see you next time.